East Coast Dyes is back. Pumped to have these guys back in. Greg Keneally's been doing a great job with String League so far. We're really excited. He always comes up with a tough and challenging competition for all of our String Leaguers. So Greg, I don't know what you guys are gonna come up with this year, but I bet it's gonna be bizarre, and I can't wait to see it. What's going on guys? It's Greg from East Coast Dyes, and I'm here with String League Season 3. For our challenge, we're gonna have to do something a little bit different. What you have to do is string an edible pocket. That means you have to be able to, or at least, even if you want to, eat every part that you use to string the pocket. Now, it doesn't have to be functional. All it requires is that it holds a ball, and you can roll it around a little bit, and at the end of your challenge, you have to take a big bite right out of the pocket. I don't know how you're gonna do it, but it's gonna be interesting. For our prizes, first place is gonna win a Mirage on a focus shaft strung up by us any way you want. Second prize is gonna win a Mirage strung up with any pocket you want, and we can get a die for you going as well. And third place is gonna win a custom complete Hero Mesh kit. We are really excited to see what you guys come up with in the form of an edible pocket, and even more excited to see you guys eat it. What's going on guys, it's Greg from East Coast Dyes, and we have the judging for this week of String League. The entries were crazy creative, they were a lot of fun, stringing an edible pocket is not easy, but I think the contestants did a really great job of it. So coming in at number six, we have Matt Simpson. I really like this idea of doing a cake pocket, but I think having the whole head filled in with cake just wasn't working for the concept, it didn't seem too much like a pocket. Next up, coming in at number five, we have Philip Pierce's pasta pocket. Really cool idea, really good execution with some of the knots with cooking the pasta. Uh, it just seemed a little empty up top and kind of unfinished, so for that reason he's in at number five this week. At number four we have Richie B. He used uh, pull and peel licorice, looked really great, did a good job with the interlocks and making the two runners. Uh, the X channel was super nice, but I have him down a little bit because it just, again, looked a little empty and a little unfinished. At number three is Chris Deal. He had a similar idea, but he used Nerds Rope, uh, some Twizzler pull and peel for shooting strings, which looks fantastic. That's probably my favorite part. And I used, uh, I guess, some fruit roll up for the middle of the pocket, and overall, really love the concept, the creativity, and the use of all the materials. At number two, we have Chris Burke, and this one gets huge points for creativity. He pretty much baked a pizza pocket that has great shape, great form, great depth. I uh, put like a design on the back. It looks fantastic, and from a creativity perspective, this was definitely my favorite one, so that puts him at the number two spot. And at number one for this week, we have Taylor Smoke. He pretty much did a full licorice traditional, straight regular interlocks, great looking traditional, not a ton of depth, but really, really clean and really well done. This was the closest to a real pocket, which I was really impressed by with edible materials. So that is your lineup for this week of String League. String League Season 3. We're only halfway done and I'm amazed. We have seen some unbelievable contests and then we have seen some unbelievable entries to those contests. But as we know, there can only be one String League champion. And that's going to be reflected in changes in the leaderboard. Another week, some more points. Let's see who's at top. Uh, yeah, can I get some of that yellow sidewall? Yeah. Ooh, actually on second thought, that lime green looks good. Let's go with that. Well, I don't know. The white seems nice and clean. Maybe I should go with white. Let's go with white. Ah, yeah, yeah I, I don't know. Really, dude? Let's go with... Let's go with the yellow. Yeah, let's go with the yellow. It's my school colors. Yellow's my favorite color. You know, mom says it compliments my eyes. Let's go with that. <laughs> 